In this paper, we present a computational design approach to compose assemblable and fabricable 3D models from interlocking planar pieces. These structures can be assembled by sliding pieces into each other along straight slits and do not require glue, screws, or other binding materials. The user begins the process by either specifying outline contours or choosing a mesh as a hull, which defines the boundary of the structure. The user places a few planes and is able to translate and rotate as desired. The intersection graph, or which pieces should intersect with which others, is determined by the current intersections, but the user is free to change it. The colored lines denote parallel slits. We place angle constraints on each edge for rigidity, and to ensure assembly, use a clustering algorithm to find and enforce parallel cuts of each cycle in the graph. We now cluster and optimize for these constraints. The first optimization result is often not far from the original structure. However, if the user wishes to see other clusterings, they can cycle through possible options and choose whichever one they prefer. In order to make comparison easier, an animation plays first rotating the pieces back to their pre-optimized state and then rotating to the new configuration. A second optimization makes sure all previous intersections still exist and no new ones are added. For this, it clips pieces with others, defaulting sensibly in ambiguous cases. The user could then ch change the slit directions or the clipping orders. After designing a structure, the user exports to the Rhinoceros software, where our Rhino plugin generates curves and label numbers to be sent to a laser cutter, or alternatively, guiding curves for a milling machine. We show some results generating using our system. This is the base for a coffee table milled using a 5-axis CNC machine. Here is a chair model using the same CNC machine. This is an example of a toy dinosaur using a laser cutter. Similar cardboard toys made today take this type of form. Here we design a pavilion as an architectural study. This lampshade is designed with non-tight slits. Still, because of the rigidity constraints, the final construction is stable. We now show an example of the assembly process with the pavilion shown earlier. The assembly process proceeds in the order generated by our framework. Note that our framework produces one possible assembly order, but others may exist. A nice property which can be explored further is that when there's only one possible assembly order, such as in this seven-piece cycle, there's only one way in which the cycle can be closed, leading to a nice puzzle. Any other sequence will eventually lead to a dead end. In this example, only by sliding the group of four pieces on the left into the group of three pieces on the right can assembly be successful.